From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. All right, everyone, I'm Mark J. Weather on Instagram and Twitter. Early clearing overnight tonight. Clouds will return, though, by sunrise. And we'll have midnight lows right around, well, middle 20s, upper 20s. And we'll see temps actually going up closer to 30 degrees by dawn. Here you go, a nice little warm up for your Valentine's Day. Cloudy, milder, maybe an isolated PM shower. It's going to be romantically mild. I hope your evening is romantically hot. <clears throat> 25 tonight for Akron, 46 tomorrow. Spotty rain, Danita. <laughs> All right, thank you for that Valentine's Day forecast, Mark. Let's take a look at today's top stories. A major break in a cold case. DNA testing has linked a former truck driver to a Medina County rape in 1997. Samuel Legg III was taken into custody in Arizona and flown back to Ohio. He is charged with two counts of felony rape. Investigators say the DNA also links Legg to the murders of at least three women in Ohio and other states. He's not yet charged in those cases. Just one day after state lawmakers introduced another heartbeat bill in the Ohio House, one was submitted in the state Senate. Ohio lawmakers have approved similar bills banning abortion at the first detectable fetal heartbeat twice before, and both times former Governor John Kasich vetoed them. But new Governor Mike DeWine has said he would sign it. You may want to file those taxes now because not only may you wind up with a smaller refund than expected, you may actually end up one of the 30 million Americans who will likely owe the IRS money this year. Accountants are urging people to file as soon as possible. Then if you do owe, that gives you time to save up money to pay the IRS. For the latest news and weather, go to News5Cleveland.com or open the News5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.